Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to the Ravens of uh, Three Sahashri. Yikes, let's keep going. So, it's Feth's turn again. He's got to start you know, um, trying to repair those memories again. Uh, blue one. All right, so the four and the one, oh, that's a six. I need, to, I need a blue two. Green two, I said blue two. Bluetooth. <sighs> Yay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, here's my problem though. Can I, oh, look at that, I can. Um, this is perfect. Because remember, not only do I have to play this, and it has to, um, to get a full set so that I could unlock potentially a blue card from Jen's heart, um, I have to have the cards touch, they all have to be touching each other in at least one spot. And it has to be done legally. <gasps> oh no! Oh crap, oh no, no, this is fine anyway. But I was thinking, hey look, this is legal. Because here's a, a, a grid and a grid, so that would cover this, and this is this. But then it would get rid of the blue four. So that's no good, but I could do this as well. This is open, this is, oh but I can't! Because when I place a card, at least one has to be what do you call it? A, a grid has to go. So this would not be legal because I'm not covering a grid with another grid. Oh, so I have to build this puzzle such that it would be legal for me to put this here. And that means I've, how can I do that? Oh my gosh. Now that is an interesting problem to solve. So that means I got to get a grid over there. Hmm, crap. Because if I can figure out a way to solve this problem, then I could ask Jen and she could potentially reveal blue. Or she could reveal that there is no blue, and then I know that I have to start eliminating blue from the Atman. Or from her true self, because there's no blue in her heart. Wow! Okay. That is going to be a toughie. Hmm. Alright. So that means... Alright. So it has to be, it has to touch. This is the only place, and if I do that, oh wait, let's see, if I could do this, no, but then that doesn't line up there, and that doesn't line up there. So I could do this, but it would completely obliterate the four. Oh, now what I could do is I could do this, obliterate the four, um, because then if Jen pulled either of these, then she would reveal the four again. But the four, the, the, um, my reliving of memory has to happen on my turn. It can't happen because Jen removes a card. Let's see. So if I can do this, that means I have to get a grid there, but how can I, well, let's see. So, wow. And see, here's the problem. It's gonna be hard for me to build in this direction because whatever card I play, remember a card always has to have at least one grid piece on it that's placed on another grid, and these are all blank, so it's kinda of hard for me to build in that direction. Ah, oh, this is heartbreaking. Well, let's see. Now, also, I should say, I didn't even look at this. Jen, by playing this card, gave me another power. Return one Raven stolen card to the top of the deck. Now, that's another power I can do. Um, oh, so if the Raven ever steals one of my white cards, I can get it back. Okay, so we don't lose it. Right, so let's see what else we can find. A purple four. I'd love to do purples as well. Let's see. And oh, a Raven. Oh, dear. Now we've got two Ravens. Now, once these Ravens come out, they are out for the rest of the game, constantly. And so now, if I start discarding blues that I can't play, then we'll, they'll start eating the blues. Now here's the interesting thing. If this raven does eat some of our blues, if I successfully f create a blue memory, not only will I reveal a portion of Jen's heart, but I will also knock that raven for a loop, and I'll get to take the cards he stole back. So you can fight back against the ravens. Let's see here, let's draw another. Oh my gosh, wow! Oh my, now things are really starting to get scary. I should stop pushing my luck. Because now, I don't want to lose this purple. Although remember, I can get one back. <sighs> let's see. Um, oh, this, this sucks so much. And on the flip side, I mean, I could give up on the four, and then I've got two, three, four. If I could get a blue three, then I could start over again too. Let's draw another one. Let's draw another one. Oh, come on, ugh. Let's see, and two greens are not going to be enough to, to build up a green. And I've got these green ones over here, so I could pull one of them back out, but still, that's only five. Let's draw one more card. A white four. All right, I think I'm going to have to stop there. Here's the interesting thing, by the way. I also know that I'm having to give Jen cards that she can use for a poem. I know she needs five here because I can see the two. And if, she, if, I, if I had a card that I could play uh, that was a five, she could put it here, and then I'd get the higher the value of the card, the more powerful they are. There is a lot going on in this game all at once. It'll really drive you nuts. Um, let's see. 
So the interesting thing is I, you know, I might want to play this white even though um, I don't care about trying to create a soul white because I know there's no more whites to reveal. This would return one raven, oh this is another return a raven stolen card. It's not that big a deal really. Um, let's see here. So I can't really build anything. I could get this, now how, could I, I could do this. That's legal. And because, you know, the grid, the grid has to go on a grid and then the other one's legal too. And so now I'm starting to try and build up a purple. Was there a purple, let's see, a four or five, is there a purple two in here? No, there's not, there's a purple three. Oh, you, you monster. Let's see, now I don't have to put this purple here. I could put it off someplace else. Like this would be legal. And then I could use that power to pull the purple three out. And if I could play this, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to put this purple over here, and then I'm going to use this power to return something from the discard pile and get this purple back out. And now, and this is legal because the grid's going on a grid, and boom. All right. Now, the instant you create a group of like colored cards that total four, that, over, that total seven, that overlap each other, we immediately can take advantage of it. So, unfortunately the Purple Raven isn't holding anything, so we don't get to take anything back from the Purple Raven, but I now get to ask Jen, hey, are any of these purple? And she is now gonna break my heart and say, no, there is no purple in my heart. So that's crap, because remember, I've gotta reveal all these things, but now I know two things. I know that there is no purple here. So that means for my Atman to be complete, I have to remove all purple. All purple has to go away. Um, or else we can't win because there's no purple in our heart. There can't be any purple in our true self. Um, right, so, uh, let's see. So that's interesting. Oh, 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 wow, no, no, ah, I was thinking, I'd almost done this, but yeah, this isn't legal for that. Oh, crap. So I could almost get that, those blues back together, but I can't because these two are still exposed. Uh, shoot. Okay. So, um, and I've used my special power. Now, um, <clears throat> so the interesting thing too is whatever this color is, if I reveal this color, then I'll untap it and be able to get that power again too. So there's, oh my gosh, all right. So I've played that. I know I, know I wanna play this, I wanna play all of the, the greens I don't care about playing necessarily if I, um, and because here's the thing, Jen might not have any greens here, and if I introduce greens to the Atman and then discover later on that she has no green, I'll have to get rid of these greens. So maybe I want to go on ahead and discard these, um, but I know I want to play these because if I don't, the Ravens will get them. Although I, I can save one from the Ravens, so that's an important thing too. Well, let's see. Oh, can I get the, uh, four? Let's see. Um, mer, uh, this puzzle gets so hard so fast because you're so limited in what you can do. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this four, this one. This four is almost completely obliterated anyway. Um, although, you know, Jen could always take this purple four out and then reveal the four again and then just leave that three over there. Because remember, um, we both know that purples have to come out of here. So I know I don't wanna play any more purples here and Jen, she might have to do some purple cleanup as well to get rid of all these purples I played because we know there's no purple in her heart. And we also know that there is one white in her heart. So that means I have to have at least one white card. Could have as many white as I want, but I still don't know the whereabouts of red, green, or blue, which is why I'm so desperate to finish this blue. Or you know what, what the heck, I start building a green over here, you know, I, I do them in some way, you know, like this is legal and if I could just put this somewhere, like, uh, yeah, this would be legal. Then I'm starting to build up a green so I could find out. I can go digging for green over here. So that's all legal. And then if I can get a green three and somehow attach it to those guys, then I could determine the whereabouts of green. But I still haven't done the things I really need to do. So let's come back to that. Um, let's see, I could start building a whole nother blue way Right, and another thing I can't do, you see how these cards are exact same? This is one thing you can never do. You can never just completely cover a card with another card. They have to be like overlapping in multiple ways. Um, let's see, so I could go ahead and put this here, and I could put this here, and I, now I'm starting to build a whole nother blue far away from my original blue. Hmm. Um, yeah, what the heck, I'll do that. And I gotta, I gotta pull this four out, I got, because otherwise we'll lose it. And, you know, if it gets removed from the game, that's less power we have in future rounds. Uh, let's see. Fuck for your deck. And this gets me ravens. 
Right, so I can get stuff back from the Raven. So I don't have to play cards, because I will be able to get them back later with that power. Um, yeah, and I don't necessarily want to go gumming up the board with more stuff, because really, if anything, I want Jen to start pulling these purples out. Uh, so I'm, I am going to discard this, and am I going to play these greens? I think I'm going to discard them as well. Because I just don't know if I, I should even be adding them yet. But I won't be able to find out. But here's the thing. Jen could take one of these greens. And then, because if she takes a card that's over here, she has to reveal that card. So maybe I want to put one green out just so that she can help me out here. Because hopefully I discover some of these cards, but she'll have to help me out as well. Wow. But can I even put this anywhere now? I don't know that I can because of how I've reformatted um, this. Um, oh, yeah. No, I could because this, these are grids. Is that a grid? No, that's not a grid. That's a full. So I could not put this here. Um, actually, yeah, I could put this here and completely obliterate the blue. And you know, heck, maybe that's for the best. You know, these grids cover up these are non-grids. Because maybe there's no blues over here for all I know. What the heck? I will put this blue here, this green here. All right. And then I will... This I literally think I cannot play anywhere. I don't see anywhere. Yeah, so I'll discard that. All right. So that was my turn. And now Jen takes one card. Only one card, but oh my gosh, so much rides on this. And if you know, she can clue me in on stuff. Let's see. Uh, like, you know, if she just takes one of these blues, she'll let me know if there's a blue or not. Um, but we both know she needs to pull these purples out because we've already previously determined that there is no purple. But she can rely on me to get rid of these purples by covering them up slowly with other cards, and she could instead do something that would help me elsewhere. The only thing she can't do is she cannot pull this blue four out anymore because it's, it's gone. It's, it's completely buried in other memories. Um, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think Jen will... What is this? And what is this part? Also, when she does it, she's giving me a power as well. Set the next card up. You know what? Jen's going to take this green, and she's going to start building her second poem. And I can see now she needs a three, and she can finish her second poem. And now, having taken a green, I need to double check myself because I don't really remember for sure. Jen reveals no greens. So she has just told me something else. Now I know these are white, red, white, or blue. They can't be greens because otherwise Jen would have revealed one and they can't be purples. Oh, and I know they're not whites either because Jen never revealed a second white. So I know all of these are red or blue. And so I now know don't put any more greens out here. Don't put any purples out here. Um, I have a white, so that's good. I got to get rid of these purples that I've already placed, and I still have to determine, you know, are all of these red? I mean, chances are there's probably like two reds and a blue here or two blues and a red or something like that. But anyway, so that was very valuable information. Although, yeah, and I mean, we didn't even lose a chance to score because Jen didn't flip anything. And she's working on her poem. Now let's go back to me start. Ah, oh, oh, a five, a blue five. Okay, now what was this? This was set the next card upside down. So now I can use this once to put a card like this instead to make it fit the puzzle. <sighs> oh, crap. I want to put this five next to this two, but this one won't let it work. Oh my gosh, how terrible is that? Now, if I could obliterate this two, this one, would I then be able to place this somehow? Um, see, I could do it upside down. This would be a legal placement if I can cover this up with other cards, and then I could reveal blue. So let's see, a green four. Now I know I don't want to play this four because there, there is no green in her heart, so I'm probably gonna discard that. And a raven, oh now here's the interesting thing. So you think, oh no, the next raven. But it, the ravens are a blessing and a curse. The more ravens we've got, since I have three ravens revealed already, the first three cards I draw are what's called the safe zone. So if any ravens come up in the first three cards, they get discarded. Now, if this raven had been the fourth card, then it would have gone up. But if it had been the first, second, or third card I drew, because I have three ravens, I got to avoid a raven. Hooray! So, no red ravens. Red raven, go home. All right, let's keep drawing. Purple twos. I know we want to get rid of purples. Purples are dead to me. Although, if I discard this purple, it'll get eaten by the raven. But I do have the chance to get a raven back out. All right, come on. Oh, I, oh! all right, now. I could say to heck with all of these blues and try and build these two together somewhere else, like uh, this, and I could do that. I could, yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right now. Okay, and I'm gonna start building. 
And to heck with all these other blues. I, um, I've, I've got the blues blues. I'm going to put this here because a grid and a thing covers that up just nice. Plus, I'm starting to cover up this purple as well. Actually, could I do better covering up with that purple? Yes, I could. I could. No, I can't. That's not legal. But I've covered up half this purple, so the purple is half gone. Because remember, I've got to get rid of the purples. And I will put this here like this. And ta-da! Blues! Blues equals seven! Honey, is there any blue in your heart? Do you have a blue heart? And I believe the answer is yes. We have just scored three points. Hooray! And I know that blues gotta stay. They could remove, but I have to have at least one blue. I have to have at least one white. Now, and my only question is, is there any red? If, there, if I could just gamble and hope that there's red, and leave the red there, but maybe these are both blues as well. There's no way for me to know. All right, so anyway, so I revealed that, hooray, that was a huge, that was a big, big deal. Also, I know Jen needs four points worth to fulfill this. And remember, this, this, these first three lines are seven, this one is a five. Okay, so that was a big breakthrough, big breakthrough. Now I don't have to worry, I gotta get rid of these purples, and maybe I've gotta get rid of this red, I don't know. But let's see, so I've got some more cards to play. I, I am going to not play this purple because it's just going to cause me trouble, which means the raven gobbles it up. Nom, nom, nom. Which is going to be difficult for me to do because, there we go. Now I'm not too worried about that because remember, I'll be able to get this out of jail before the, so, but I want to save, I want to wait till there are three things eaten by ravens and then I can save them all using that card. Um, all right. Let's see here. So, now I've got these two more cards. I don't want to play any green either, because I already know green is not in Jen's heart, so that would only cause us problems. So I'm going to discard this, and I'm done. And now Jen can take a card, and I believe Jen will, let's see, she needs a three here, right? Because she's got two, two. She's going to take this purple three. All right. And... She has now finished the second line, two plus two, um, and she's given me whatever the power this is. What is this power? Nullify one raven's world devouring as it happens. All right, well, that's kind of nice. Is there another three she could have taken that would have been more useful for her power? Nope, all right. So she has finished her second line of the poems. Now, it's possible when Jen takes cards off the board that she can end up splitting the Atman in two, and then it would be her choice to keep one half of the Atman on the board or the other. I don't think, does that count as a split? I have to, I don't remember for sure, let me look. Um, dun, 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 Ren shows her heart. Uh, poem special powers, Atman is split. It may happen, it takes a card, the Atman is split in two or more chunks that are not connected by overlapping cards. Oh yeah. So now this already happened before. So, and um, with Jen earlier, she created a split that meant these were not overlapping. And when that had happened earlier, Jen either had to obliterate the top half or the bottom half, she'll obliterate the bottom half. Which means this got eaten by a raven. Ouch. And now, Jen took this three, and so um, she has actually split these apart. So now these have to get discarded. But here's the problem. They're blue, they're gonna get eaten by the blue raven. And now, there are four cards that have been eaten by ravens. Yikes, but she's finished her poem. Now, I know I'll be able to rescue three of those cards, but one of our cards is lost forever now. But still, on the whole, we're making good progress here. Um, and, uh, right. Oh, and then this, this thing is gone too because it's now a free-floating thing. Oh, wow, that's five. Maybe Jen should not have split everything apart like that because that was really painful. But what the heck, she'll do it anyway. Um, she's got her own problems. Okay, so my turn again. I got, and now the deck is starting to run out. If we run out of cards before Jen has finished her poems and before I have made this match her, we lose. And here's the thing. If there are no more white cards in here, we can't do it because I know I have to have at least one white card and we, and we lost it earlier because I was a dummy. All right, but anyway, let's see what we get. A purple. Oh, okay, there's a white. I definitely got to get this white played because I got to get white back in here because I know white and blue are in her heart. I know green and purple are not in her heart and I'm still trying to figure out about red. All right. And, all right. And unfortunately, this green came out in the fourth so it wasn't in the safe zone. So now almost all the ravens have come out. That's not good. Let's see. A red four. I would love to combine it with something. Now, what are my powers again? Nullify one raven. Oh, hey, you know what? Um, Jen had this. I, uh, I should have nullified one raven's gobbling when it happened. 
So let's say uh, we nullified all these blues getting gobbled. And I think it was a blue and the purple got gobbled. So we used that power since Jen had given it to me while all these things were getting eaten to stop that nullify. And now we can still get the other ones out. So that's okay. We're not going to lose any cards, folks. Um, and then let's see. So I can place one upside down and I can rescue some ravens. And Jen still has to complete her third and her fourth. So I know if I give her a four that she can take, she can just finish this poem just like that. There's a four blue right there for her. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I want to build in such a way. Now this is interesting. I could build in such a way that I leave these fours available. And if Jen takes this four, then I could, if Jen takes this four, that would be a clue to me that she's trying to get rid of reds. And I know, okay, I'm not going to try to go for reds anymore. Um, if she tries to get rid of this four, that could be a clue to me that she's leaving reds in because we can't afford to lose reds because reds are important. So that's really interesting. I should probably leave both of these um, available so Jen could try to give me a clue. In which case, maybe I should stop now. Um, in fact, let's see, I, I, here's the white I can put back on, so that's good. And the purple, which I can discard, which will get eaten by the raven, but it can still be saved for later. I think I am going to stop I'm, because we're running out of time. Um, right, okay, so I'm just going to draw these three, that's it. I'm going to play uh, white, I have to play it someplace, I'll play it there, that's cool. And now white is covered, white is in herself, um, the red five standing by. I could discard this in safety and it's not going to get eaten. So I will discard that. Urgh. But you know, maybe she wants a five. But I'm, I'm afraid to put a five out that might have to get rid of later. Although also I've got to get rid of this, um, this purple. How can I do that? I've got to cover it up. Oh, let's see. If I flip something upside down, can I cover it? Do I do this? Nope, that's not legal. So that's a problem. I we have to get rid of this purple because we know purple is not in her heart. All right, I know, I know I don't want to play this purple, but if I, let's see, there's only two. So yeah, I'm going to discard this purple, which means it gets eaten by the raven because I don't want any purples. And so I've got this. I got to play this or discard it. <sighs> you know, um, I'm going to discard. I don't want to take a chance. All right. And so now the moment of truth, does Jen take the red or the blue? And she clues me in on everything. Jen takes the blue. And so now I'm going to take that. It's a leap of faith, but I'm going to take it because she could have taken this as well. And now maybe, for all I know, maybe she didn't take this because she knew if she took it, it would split this stuff in half and we'd have to discard a bunch of cards. But I'm going to take it on faith that that means we've got a red here. That um, either both of these are red or one is a red and a blue. And that means all I got to worry about, because I've got red, white, and blue, all I got to do is get rid of that purple. Now, Jen could get rid of that purple, but it would split everything apart, and we'd potentially lose another card over there. But anyway, so Jen's done it, and as you can see, uh, she's finished her, now she only needs one more line of her poem, and she's given me another power. Uh, when setting the next card, consider the card underneath it the same color. Wow. Now that would have been great to have early because, you know, if, if there was a white two out here or a white three out here and I put this blue four, I could pretend the white was blue and then I could say, hey, reveal the blues. But it's a little late for that now because I'm pretty confident I've got all the colors I need. But let's start drawing. All right. There's a green. I know I can't, although if I trash the green, it'll get gobbled, but I know I can't put the green out here unless I have a way to get rid of it. Another white one. Let's see. Now, the number one thing I'm concerned... Oh, this is perfect. Look, this white one can cover that purple because there's a grid grid and then all the rest. That's going to be perfect. That's going to get rid of the purple. And I'm hoping if I've played my cards right, literally, and I put another white out. Um, let's see. Let's uh, take another card. Oh, a red. All right. I'm just going to go on faith. Let's see. Now, Jen, I don't know what this value is. It would be great before it's over for me to reveal reds. I still want to do it so that we can score more points. <sighs> Let's see. Although if I do another blue, maybe one of these is blue. I don't know. And if there's another blue, I get a chance to flip a blue as well. And I could turn a... Yeah, so that's actually pretty cool. So I could put this green three down and then say, hey, it's really a blue, but it'd only be for the purpose of revealing a blue, and that's too dangerous. I don't want to put that green in because that's just going to kill us. All well, that means I'm going to have to discard that green. All right, let's draw another card. Oh, we're so almost out of cards. A purple! Ah! That is the last thing in the world I need. I'm going to stop drawing cards. This is killing us. All right. All right, well, first of all, I know I'm going to put this white here. 
because that got rid of the only purple. So if these are the colors of Jen's heart, we're set. I have done my job and any other card I put on the table only hurts us. Let's see, now, um, but I've got three more cards I gotta place. Um, plus, remember, Jen needs cards to finish her last line. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Let's see, now can I put one of these out, but then cover it up immediately so it's not gonna hurt us? With these, but see, but they're all, well, I'm, I'm confident that this red is fine. Could I put this green out so I don't have to discard it and then cover it up? Because remember, I can't just put a card on top of another card like this. So actually, it's impossible. So, oh, I'll play this red card because I'm pretty confident it's safe. It has to cover at least one grid, so that's a legal play right there. And then these will get discarded, and unfortunately, the raven, nevermore for that card, quoth the raven. And that one too, yikes. And so, as you can imagine, we're eating into our possibilities for the second and third dream. Now before my turn is over, I'm gonna go ahead and use this and get some of these cards back. Because for all I know, we might be finishing the round right now. So, I'll take this green three back. And I want the bigger numbers if I can. So I'll take one of these purple twos, and I'll take the other purple two. All right, so those are the three that I can save, but the other ones are gonna be lost, because I had that power. All right, and so now it is Jen's turn. She can take one card. If she can complete the poem and I've cor constructed the Atman correctly, oh crap, look at this. The, there's not an overlap here. This is a break. That means we have just split in half. How did that happen? I must have built illegally. Oh, no, 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 this is fine. I th I'm not sure if this is fine or not. Well, somebody who knows the rules better than me, because you know, I put this on here. Have I now created a break? I don't know if I have or not, because I did put this legally. I think a break only gets created when Jen pulls off the board. I think that's the way it works, but I'm not sure. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that. But anyway, so I've done it. Now Jen has to take one card. Let's see, what is this value? Wow. Yikes. Jen is going to take this five. She puts it here. It's given me a new power. Return one Raven stolen card to the top of the deck so we can save another card. It's um, broken this red off, but there's no red Raven, so it goes into the discard pile. It doesn't get devoured. And I wait and I hope, have we won, honey, have we won? And she says, I have not completed my poem yet. So I know this is a five. I know this must be a one. So Jen needs a one to finish her poem. And she got rid of a red. So that leaves me worrying now. Are reds a danger? Our red's a danger. Ugh. All right, or did she just take the five because she wanted the five to give me the power so I could get more stuff out? I don't know, but now I gotta start drawing cards again. It's a red three. Oh, this is my chance. Oh, yes, no. Oh, but I can do upside down. All right. No, Ugh. if I could get this red connected to that red, I could reveal a red, because a three plus a four. But this isn't legal, the, the grids, but then there's a grid here, so that doesn't fit. Um, this doesn't fit because of a grid grid. I remember I have to put a grid down. And if I flip like this, that, this works, but it then completely covers the red. Uh, this, this works, yeah. Yes, no, but I can't because I, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, dang it. Damn it, Janet. Ah, uh, I can do that. See, now, again, though, I'm still not sure about this, if this is legal, because that was a break. But that got created by me, not Jen. I'm not really sure. But I don't want to place any more cards, because if I draw more cards that I can't place, that's just going to be bad news. I think I'm just going to take it easy. I'm just going to place this here. Because I can see Jen can grab that one. All right, so I'm done. I'm not going to do any more. This might be illegal here. I'm not entirely certain. But now, let's go on ahead. Jen will take a one. And she will reveal that, yes, she has completed her poem. And she can now, now um, she will also say the Atman is correct because her heart had red, white, and blue. I've got red, white, and blue, and so we did it. We completed the first of three dreams. Although, again, I might be cheating here. I'm not sure about that. Um, but, and with only two cards left. Now, um, before we did that, though, um, since Jen did do this, I was going to return another card that had gotten stolen. Let's go on ahead and grab this purple one. Uh, I have no fingernails. So I recovered the purple one. And so we completed the poem. And hooray, the, fir or the, 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 the first of three dreams. Now this white one is removed forever from the game. These ravens stay out. All of the memories 
all of them, everything except for the Ravens, gets shuffled back together. And except for that one card that we lost forever. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. But I forgot, no, there's one other card that got set aside. What was it? It was, I think I, I, I had discovered a, oops, dang it. I had to keep my scorecard aside. Where was it? I think it was, uh, it was a white three, if I recall correctly. Was that what it was? No, it was a blue. I had, I had uncovered a blue. No, it wasn't. Jen had uncovered the white. I had uncovered, yeah, I think it was, a, I'd uncovered a white. I think that's what it was. So this is points we have to you help us or to score points at the end of the game, but also that will help us in the third and final dream. But anyway, so we take the memories back, we shuffle them up. I don't remember if that's really what I scored, but I did score something. And so we're in trouble because we've lost two cards from this deck. And now we got to go through the same process again. Uh, that's good enough. So Jen has a heart. Let's see, so there's her first. Second, and um, while she's doing this, she's checking to make sure no ravens, because there is still one raven. The red raven is still out there somewhere. So there's Jen's new heart. Here is the seed, and now I start the second dream, and I start drawing cards one more time, building off of this thing. Once again, I got to discover what's in her heart. She's got to complete her poem, and we make it through the second dream, hopefully without losing too many cards to the ravenous ravens. Then we make it to the third dream, and the third dream is tougher because you know, this first dream I did, I, well, that must have taken me like 10 rounds. For the last dream, you only get four rounds because there's a new requirement. Every round, Jen must complete a poem. And you might say, hey, that's impossible. How could you possibly do it? Here's where the score comes in. Um, on the last round, Jen, in addition to taking a card from the Atman I'm building, also can take any of the score cards. So say we're at the last round now, and you know, Jen knows this is a one, and I had put out you know, uh, I'd, I'd built some cards. And um, it's proving to be difficult. There we go. So I had built this Atman, and we were on the last round. You know, this is the first round of the final third dream. This is what I built for Jen. Jen knows she's got to get six cards here. So what can Jen do? Oh, I didn't. All right. And say, and you know, when I'm building, I'm trying to give her as many numbers as possible when I'm building this to give her flexibility. So I built this as the Atman. What does Jen do? Well, she'll take the three, so she's got a four, and these three points we scored earlier, she'll use that as well, and boom, she hit her seven. So in that last final dream where the pressure is really on because you have to score a line of the poem every round, you are gobbling through your points as fast as possible because you only get four rounds. But on that, that same one, once again, I've still got to reveal all of Jen's colors. It's crazy hard. Jen and I have yet to win this game. We thought we did, but we played a rule wrong. Um, and oh my gosh, what a crazy, crazy game is the Ravens of three Shahari. So now that was a full run through of just one of three dreams. And if you'd like, you can uh, hit the button that's on screen right now or follow the show notes. Go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.